Hey folks, welcome back to Transplant Over Again today. My name is Jim Merle, and today we're going to be reviewing a brand new pill carrier made by the company Liz Mondu. You might recognize that name from a previous video I did a while back where I was actually showing you what I thought to be at the time the king of all portable slash travel type pill carriers. And I still stand behind that to an extent because it's actually the one I use every single day. But I want to take you over and show you that product again just really quickly and then compare it to a new product they've sent me out. Out just a few days ago and by the way before you go any farther they did send me out this particular item free of charge however they've not told me anything to say in this video and they will not be seeing this video review before you do so nothing they can do about it whether it be positive or negative in that case but nonetheless let's jump over let's take a look at the pill carriers right here right here i have on the right at least on my right probably on your left I don't know how that works out, but I have the one that I've been using for quite a while. That is the Liz Mondu uh, travel size pill carrier. I've actually absolutely loved it for several reasons. Now, in the beginning, I thought it may be a little bit of a problem just because the material right here is kind of made out of a pleathery slash plastic leathery material and it seemed to be kind of you know flimsy and and just not a whole lot to it i was expecting something at least a little bit closer to real leather it's not it's just a pleather but i was also concerned about the snap here on the front because it is uh magnetic slash actually has a snapping sound if you can hear that I was actually worried about that in the beginning because it just didn't seem very secure. But as it turns out, and I've used this as I've traveled the last few months, that sort of thing, even halfway across the country for me, and it's been great. It's did everything that I claimed it would do, or at least that I hoped that it would do. It did absolutely great. And you might remember the best part is what's on the inside here. It's the actual trays themselves. Uh, they're all labeled uh, Sunday through Saturday, the way I have them ordered out here. They're also labeled here on the side. To say the same thing, so there's the Sunday one, and on the top, they're labeled Monday, I'm sorry, morning, noon, evening, and bedtime, and uh, so that was absolutely great. Now, the thing I liked about this one that I've never liked about any pill carrier to this point is, instead of having the little flippy doors, as I call them, they actually have a sliding mechanism, which you can... If I can get my hand right, you can do it really with one hand. I typically do, but a little sliding mechanism. And the best part about that is if you desire to take your pills, like I'll be doing here in a moment, uh, you can actually do that by just sliding open uh, whatever part of that you need, the morning, what have you. Just slide open whatever part you need. Uh, pop those directly in your mouth straight out of the case. Slide it back closed, and you're done and ready. And, of course, that allows you later on to come back and check and to see if you've taken your medication. So, I mean, that's the case whether you're dealing with the flippy doors or this, what I call the slidey door, either one. But I think that was absolutely great about this pill care, and it's what really has made this one my favorite because it's just so secure once the medications are in there and then so convenient that you can do it and use it in that way. Now, with that being said, the, what, the only complaint I had about this this one, as I said, was the material right here seeming a little bit flimsy. thought they could do a little bit better on that, particularly when you're taking this in and out of a bag. You know, it could get caught on something and pop open, whatever. So they sent out a newer model. I don't know if it had anything to do with my suggestions or not, but they did send out a newer model. It's a little bit larger, as you're going to see. We're going to compare some of that in a moment, but a newer model. It is built out of a better... I don't know if you can hear that, but a, a harder type material. This is a wood grain look, obviously false wood, but a wood grain look. The material seems to be a little bit heavier duty. It's not nearly as flimsy and flexible. Without with uh, this one, instead of having the snap slash magnet mechanism, this just has a whole magnet right here that really, you know, really catches itself really well and, uh, you know, just shaking it or whatever. It, it just doesn't come loose. It just does a better job of keeping itself closed. So compared to, to the older one, the newer one here, probably more secure in that particular area. Now, as far as the pill trays themselves, again, I'll just pull one of these out to compare. This is what I absolutely fell in love with, this slidey door. These are different, however. This one here doesn't have the slidey doors. And that's kind of a frowny face for me. As a matter of fact, this one doesn't even have, in, in this sense as many compartments per se this one had four this newer one has three compartments still labeled here on the side 
but not labeled on the end and then labeled on the top, not with any words. But uh, I guess you would see it here, the morning, the noon, and the evening. So only a three-dose carrier here versus the four. That's the difference. But these compartments here are quite a bit larger than these. They're, the actual overall size of it is very similar in length. The thickness of it, this one is uh, not quite double, but uh, maybe one and a quarter thicker on this side than the older one so there's more capacity here and if you're like i am you actually don't take four time a day medications typically this is perfect because you've only got the three slots and those slots unfortunately they're back to the flippy doors here so this one does have the flippy doors honestly if i'm being completely honest about it i don't believe this is going to be as secure as this albeit right now being that i haven't used this one very much yet uh, it does secure and snap on you know can you hear that it does snap down pretty securely um they don't seem to just pop open you more have to give a little bit of effort to it so you know maybe it's going to be okay i like the slidey door again but the flippy door maybe it'll work in this case now the major difference between the two and you're looking at them here for most purposes but the major difference here is going to come down to simple capacity this one right here going to have a much larger capacity as a matter of fact one of the most common medications that go into my pill care every day and I have several, not the most important even, is a magnesium supplement. I say that because I take magnesium uh, three pills three times a day, you know, every single day. So I probably take more of these magnesium supplemental pills because I have low magnesium than I do any other pills. So, you know, it's it's just, this is just one of the most common pills. And when I get to looking at this, and I'll pop this open, this is a fairly you know just an average or common sized if i can get that there just a common size everyday average peel uh so a good size for measuring and just seeing the capacity of this so that's that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna open this up I'm gonna go on over here to the morning slot uh gonna start putting in one two three four five six we got six in there very easily uh let's see we can do oops drop one seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, we're getting close, 16, 17. You might squeeze another couple in there, but 17 pills, folks, in one particular slot. This one right here, even using the smaller pills, I would guess you could probably get about eight or so in here. So not quite the capacity there. Again, it would it would be a lot having to do with whether or not you use medications four times a day or three times a day. But if you're needing a larger capacity here, this is probably a good option. 17 magnesium pills. Again, average size pills in here. And of course, open it up, pop it right back into the slot, and you are ready to go again. Now, if I were to suggest something to the Liz Mondu company, number one, it would be Come on, give me some slidey doors on this one. Give me this larger capacity three times a day. Put slidey doors on it. I would be 100% totally, we'll even say in the South, T totally happy with that if I had a slidey door. Number two, uh, carry your labeling on. Having it here, obviously, for the time of day is great. Having it here on the side for the day of itself, Sunday on this example, is good. But give that to me on the end as well so that like this one when i'm looking down at the top of the pill cases i can immediately see what day i'm dealing with so just a few suggestions what i overall suggest that you purchase uh, this case over this one it would depend on your need i happen to like this one a little bit better personally it fits my needs better even though it's got more slots than i have to have this one here again much larger capacity so if you're going to have to carry you know like when i started out with transplant 52 pills a day I would have probably needed this one hands down because of the uh, the extreme capacity of it versus this one right here. Overall, both of them good uh, good options for you. Uh, good you know good pill carriers, good travel type pill carriers. Both of them fit in a purse very well. Certainly not a pocket for either one, but I think it's something you could carry around without being too bogged down. And I think you would actually enjoy it. So. 
With that being said, overall, this review, I think, is a success for me. I think there are positives and negatives of both items. Would I suggest that you go ahead and pick up this one right here, the larger capacity? Yeah. If that's what you need, go ahead and pick it up. I'll have links in the description below. Those will be affiliate links, so I get like a penny or something, not even from you, but from Amazon if one of these sales. But nonetheless, I would suggest you go ahead and pick it up, or I'll also have a link to the older one. Uh, again, probably my favorite, but I have a link to it in the description below. Go ahead and check those links out and make your purchase. These are about uh, $12, $15 a piece, time of making the video. Hopefully, they'll be about that when you go check out the link. Uh, but nonetheless, thank you so much for joining me today. And until next time, stay stronger, friends.